in order to appreciate how Newton conceived the relationship between mathematical models and the natural world, a good place to start is the very preface of the Principia, the preface, the author's preface of the Principia, where Newton says that the main business of philosophy is to deduce forces from phenomena. And once forces are deduced, and we know which forces act in nature, to deduce the other phenomena, uh, assuming the forces that we have identified in nature. Now, what I find interesting is that uh, Newton's mathematics was framed from the very beginning in terms that seem tailored for facing exactly this business. Newton conceived magnitudes as generated by motion. Curves, typically, are generated by the motion of a point. And uh, there was a sector of his mathematical activity that Newton and his contemporaries called Geometria Organica, from organon, instrument, in Greek. The Geometria Organica that, uh, for instance, Van Schoten uh, developed in a book that Newton read in his youth, was concerned with the tracing of curves via tracing mechanisms. The easiest thing is to think about a compass that traces a circle, for instance. And uh, Newton uh, uh, was very interested in this uh, field of research because it offered him an alternative approach to curves compared to that of, of uh, algebra. So curves are not uh, loci of equations into unknowns, but curves are traced by tracing mechanisms. And Newton thought that uh, we capture better the nature of a curve when we know the, its, its tracing mechanism, and we know how to generate the curve. You know, this is uh, something that is very close to what people in this age thought about the fact that it is the maker who knows the objects. In order to know an object, you have to know how to make it. The geometry organica is related to uh, the Principia, I believe, because uh, uh, Newton, in uh, the preface of the Principia, and in manuscripts related to the preface of the Principia that are very interesting, tell us that curves can be traced by mechanisms, but they can be traced also by nature or by God, he says so. And he says any curve traced by an artificer, nature or God, uh, can be accepted in geometry. Now, as in the Geometry Organica, we consider the relationship between curve and tracing mechanisms, so in natural philosophy we consider the relationships between trajectories and forces. Because as uh, a compass or a more elaborate mechanism traces a curve, so a force is responsible for the tracing of a trajectory. And as in the Geometry Organica we study the relationships between curve and tracing mechanisms, so in natural philosophy, the whole business of natural philosophy is to relate trajectory to forces, trajectories to forces, and when we know the force, to discover the other phenomena of nature in function of the forces that we have identified. So. Uh, 
Newton's mathematics, in a very technical sense, is oriented from the very beginning to uh, express relationships between curves and tracing mechanisms and this uh, point of view will allow Newton to conceive his methods of the Principia as a way to relate the curves traced by God and nature around us in the sky, so to speak. <laughs>